see the basic protocol for the actual series. First of all, it includes the process involved in uh, discovery and research, and followed by regulatory uh, development and then regulatory approval, followed by the role of the regulatory bodies and how the drug comes to the market. Handle. First of all, it's a research and development process. RM. If we take a new drug discovery, it's not a simple process, it's a complex process. And it was around 12 years of a period, taken and all the procedures to go on, and it involves around 3 million dollars gross, not uh, active rate. And then it involves pre, pre clinical and clinical studies, which we will see on later on slides. And then if we take uh, research and development, our thousands of drugs, our thousands of new medicaments, they will uh, find it uh, in discovery. And only one or few from that will come out for human trials and come out to market. Basically, the discovery. What is discovery? And uh, what is the cause of discovery? You know, necessity is a mother of invention. You all know that. Like that, new inside of a drug, a new uh, drug come in an uh, environment, and we have to go for it and you have to fight against it. You have to find a new product or a new medicament for that. Or the necessity may also in other way that they may test a molecular compound to enhance property and then uh, or any treatment is and, uh, given an unanticipated effects and the technologies to, uh, to make it emphasized. This is the basic of a discovery they are urging to. And the development. The development is nothing but if you have found a drug or have found a something uh, compound which is found to contain some activity, then we have to go for the uh, we have to get to know about the drug, how it absorbs, how it distributes, how it excretes, and how it metabolizes, and then go for the what are the proposed dosage form for that, and uh, side effects and reverse effects, and uh, what is, what will happen if we give it with other drugs. These are the basic things you have to see in drug research and development. This is the main, uh, main, uh, main thing, you can uh, finalize all the things. You, you can see the various phases and uh, parts in the clinical trials. Starting on drug discovery, many, I already told, uh, thousands of compounds will be there starting. And from that, a preclinical pre research, and many, uh, they will keep on reducing numbers because some uh, unwanted or uh, not uh, eligible drugs may get reduced. And uh, if we take clinical trials, it has three main phases. In three main phases, we will explain later. The only final, only one drug will, uh, will be approved for human trials, sorry, for marketing, and that drug will be marketed. And that too, not directly, FDA or uh, any regulatory authorities will approve that and will take a review on that. First is preclinical. How do they do preclinical? Preclinical is nothing but doing some uh, research works or uh, studying the drug before the clinical drug is before injecting to a human. It, it will take an in vivo and in vitro process. In vivo is nothing but the, in a living subject, in vitro is artificial. We will study protocol, facilities, equipment, written protocol, all the, all the parameters will be considered during preclinical researches. And then, this is the investigation of new drug. If uh, until this part of uh, our uh, 